Lesson 3.1, use doubles facts. In a doubles fact, the numbers being added are the same. So doubles facts are like 1 plus 1, 2 plus 2, 3 plus 3, 4 plus 4, and so on. The add-ins are the same. We have a double set of numbers. And the sums of doubles facts are even numbers. Look, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. We can use doubles facts to find sums that are near doubles facts. 5 plus 6, we need to find the sum when we think 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. So we can think of 5 plus 5, and because a 6 is just one more than 5, we do 10 and one more. We do 10 plus 1. That means 5 plus 6 is 11. And one add-in stays the same. The other add-in is plus 1. So this add-in stayed the same, and this one is a plus 1. See? From the doubles fact. We can say that we're counting on one more from the doubles fact. We can also count back one from a doubles fact to find a sum. For 6 plus 5, we think... Okay, we have one add-in that's the same, and the other one is one less than the doubles fact 6 plus 6. 5 is one less than 6. So we're going to do 6 plus 6 for our doubles fact that equals 12, but then we're going to take away 1 because the 5 is one less than 6. And 12 minus 1 is 11. One add-in stays the same. The other add-in is minus 1. If we know the sum of a doubles fact, we can find the sum of a near doubles fact by comparing the add-ins. Then we decide if we want to add one or subtract one from the doubles fact. For 9 plus 8, we can think, all right, 8 plus 8. We have one add-in that's the same. We'll use that 8, and we'll do 8 plus 1 for this 9. We think 8 plus 8 is 16, plus 1 more is 17. We could also do a 9 plus 9. One of the add-ins is the same. We use the 9, and 8 is just a 9 minus 1. And if we think of 9 plus 9 as 18 and take away 1, then we'll have 17. So we can do 8 plus 8 and add 1, or we could do 9 plus 9 and take away 1. For 6 plus 7, we can think 6 plus 6 and add one more, or we can think of 7 plus 7 and take away one. Either way, 6 plus 7 will be 13. So remember the numbers we add together are add-ins. The 8 and the 7 are add-ins in an addition problem. And the answer in the addition problem is the sum. 8 plus 7 is equal to 15, so the sum of these add-ins is 15. For here, we need to circle the doubles facts that we can use to find the sum. We have 7 plus 8, and remember, one of the add-ins must be the same as a doubles fact add-in. We have a 7 and an 8. That means we can use 7 plus 7 or 8 plus 8. We can just look at the add-ins and know that we can use 7 plus 7 or 8 plus 8. If we use 7 plus 7, we're going to do 7 plus 7 plus 1 so that this 7 plus 1 is equal to the 8. And if we use 8 plus 8, we have to do a minus 1, 8 plus 8 minus 1, because this 8 minus 1 will be that 7. 7 plus 7 is 14, plus 1 more is 15. That means 7 plus 8 is equal to 15. For here, we need to write a doubles fact that we can use to find the sum, and then write the sum. 
we can use a doubles fact that is the same as one of the add-ins. So we could use 3 plus 3, or we could use 4 plus 4. So let's use 3 plus 3, and that equals 6. And because this is 1 less than 4, we need to do 3 plus 3 plus 1 more. So we'd have 6 plus 1 more. That means 3 plus 4 is 7. I bet many of you have this memorized. 3 plus 4 is 7, or 4 plus 3 is 7. What about this one? What doubles fact can we use for this one? Remember, we can use doubles facts that use one of the add-ins. So that means we could use 7 plus 7 or 6 plus 6. We could use 7 plus 7, which is equal to 14. And because that's one too many, we can take away one from the doubles fact. That means 7 plus 6 must be equal to 13. 6 is 1 less than 7, so 7 plus 6 must be 1 less than 14. It must be 13. And we also could have used 6 plus 6 plus 1 more, couldn't we have, for 7 plus 6? And we could have used 4 plus 4 is 8 and took away 1 for this one. Here we have a word problem. Mrs. Kim baked five cherry pies and four pecan pies. How many pies did she bake? We think we can circle the important information. It's important that she made five of the cherry pies and four of the pecan pies, and we can use addition to find how many pies she baked. We need five and four, so we can write five plus four, we can use a doubles fact to help us. 5 plus 5 is equal to 10, and that should be one more than whatever 5 plus 4 is. So we can do 10 minus 1. That's 9. So 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. We think 5 plus 5 minus 1. And we also could have used 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 1 more. Here we need to circle the doubles facts that have a sum greater than 10, but less than 16. What we can do is write their sums first to help us. 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. 6 plus 6 is equal to 12. 7 plus 7 is equal to 14. And 8 plus 8 is equal to 16. Now we can circle the doubles facts that have a sum greater than 10, but less than 16. So it's very important that we see it says it has to be greater than 10. So it can't be 10, it has to be greater than 10. So it's not this one, that's not greater than 10. And 10 is equal to 10, it's not greater, so it's not this one. 12 is greater than 10, 14 is greater than 10, 16 is greater than 10, but it must be less than 16. So it can't be 16, it has to be less than 16. And what we're left with are the doubles facts that have a sum greater than 10, but less than 16. The sums of doubles facts are even numbers. Even numbers show pairs with none left over. We learned about that back in video 1.1. We have 3 plus 3, that's equal to 6. And 6 is an even number because we've made pairs with none left over. Doubles facts plus 1 or doubles facts minus 1 will have an odd number as a sum. And odd numbers show pairs with one left over. See? We made a pair and a pair and a pair and there's one left over. So where 3 plus 3 equals 6 is an even number, 3 plus 4, which is 3 plus 3 plus 1 more equals 7, that's got an odd number for a sum. 
So remember when you're using doubles facts to add, you're going to use doubles facts that match one of the add-ins. In our next lesson, 3.2, we're going to practice addition facts. Have a really great day. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you next time. Bye.